What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Beautiful Yaz, and I'm back with another video. Get into this hair, though. Yes, yes. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about something called a Facebook Pixel. I'm going to be showing you exactly how to set up a Facebook Pixel on your website. And uh, before I show you that, first I'm going to be explaining to you what a Facebook Pixel is, and then uh, the benefits it has and then I'll show you directly like on the computer how to set a Facebook pixel onto your website. A Facebook pixel is an analytics tool that consists of a code that you can put on your website. The pixel tracks your website visitors. Y'all know I got my notes. <laughs> Collects data that helps you track conversions from Facebook ads, optimized ads, built target audiences and remarket to people who have already taken some kind of action on your website. So to kind of rework that, <laughs> it, um, so the data allows you to retarget those users with Facebook ads in the future, as well as see what they're doing on your website when they return. So, um, Let's say you ran a Facebook ad and somebody clicked on your website and they're on your website for like a minute or two or whatever and then log, logged out of it without purchasing anything. So basically the Facebook pixel will help retarget those same customers that went on your website before and it'll basically retarget them back to your website so that they can make a purchase. I recently set my Facebook pixel up a couple of weeks ago and I'm about to be running a Facebook ad and I'm excited to see my results. I've heard nothing but great things about um, people adding Facebook pixel to their website. So I'm giving it a shot and I'm showing you guys how to do it as well. It's free and yeah, so why not? It, it can only help you. So I would say definitely take take advantage of it. I thought I heard my baby crying. But I will say definitely um, add it to your website. And yeah. So we're just going to be going right into how to set up your Facebook pixel. So keep watching. Hey y'all. So right here I am on my um, business Facebook page. It's just like a little snippet of something I posted. So in this top right corner, I'm going to click this arrow and I'm under the business manager option. I'm going to click on my business name. Beautiful. Yes. And then in the top left corner, I'm going to click those three bars. And then under the manage business column, I'm going to click on business settings. So from there on the left side, I'm gonna go down to data sources. It's gonna be a drop down menu and the sec second option is the one you wanna click on which says pixels. And then you're gonna click the red button that says add to add your first pixel. So this is what pops up. So um, the pixel name is there. I just put a one behind it just in case I needed to make another pixel ID for any reason or whatever and I just um, typed in my website URL and then I'm going to click continue so once that's done this is what pops up are you ready to set up your pixel and then I'm going to click up set up the pixel now, which is the second option. And then um, choose how you want to install the pixel code. And it's gonna, I'm gonna click the first option, add code using a partner. And the one that I have is Shopify, so I'm gonna click on that. And then this is the next thing that pops up. And what this is, is says grow your audience size and I'm gonna make sure that this is turned on which it is because it's blue automatic advanced matching then I want to click continue and then um, it basically sh tells you the steps 
necessary to take in order to add the pixel code to your website you want to click online store and then um preview i mean not preview but preferences and then you're going to paste your facebook pixel id and if you can see it the pixel id is already on the screen right there i wasn't aware of that at the time when i was doing this but it's right there and then you want to make sure you click save once you paste it into your shopify and then this right here is just um telling you that you can verify your pixel by um putting it in and putting your url in and then send test traffic and then it'll tell you if your pixel is active <coughs> Excuse me. so um i actually did it the other way i just closed it out copied the pixel id and then i pasted it into my shopify store which i'm going to be showing you here so i'm going to click online store and then I'm going to go down to preferences, click on that. And then I'm going to scroll down to Facebook pixel and I'm going to paste my Facebook pixel there. And then I'm going to make sure that I click save because if you don't click save, then it's not going to take effect. So you want to make sure you click save. <clears throat> And then once you go back to Facebook, you want to make sure that that red dot that up is up there. You want to make sure that that turns green. That lets you know that your Facebook pixel is active and it'll just take a few minutes um, for it to become active. So you want to make sure that you just go back in Facebook and double check to make sure that. All right, you guys. Work. So that completes this video of how to set up a Facebook pixel. I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Um, I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers and over 10,000 hours of watch time before March 1st. I'm trying to be um, monetized by March 1st. So make sure y'all subscribing and watching my videos all the way through. Okay. So I will see you guys in the next video. And yeah, it may be tomorrow or the following day. But um, comment below what other business type videos you guys want to see from me. I'm thinking of, uh, th uh, I'm thinking about doing um, how to find your target market type of videos and just like other little things that I can like that you guys want to know about. So keep me updated. Let me know what y'all want to see. And yes, I know where y'all can get this hair from. Um, <clears throat> and these lashes beautifulyes.com um what else did i want to say um check out my ebook and i'm also going to be adding a free um a free digital product to my website soon so be on the lookout for that i will keep you guys updated